Good afternoon, everyone. This is Monty Serrano from the Philippine Business News. Uh, today, uh, we're going to interview His Excellency uh, Andre Asibia uh, from Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Ukraine. And welcome here in the Philippines. Uh, thanks a lot. It's a pleasure for me to be here in Manila, in a great country, Philippines. And first of all, I would like to express gratitude. I would like to express gratitude to your great people, to your government, to your country for the unwavering support of our territorial integrity and sovereignty. We do really appreciate this. We do really need this solidarity and support facing Russia aggression, fighting with Russia aggression. By the way, today we have 838 days of our resistance. Well, 830, yeah, I, I remember um, how courageous and resilient uh, Ukrainians are. And when I was there also last year, I was really impressed. Um, and of course, uh, when I was also invited to talk uh, during the Crimea Global. Uh, you are a brave summit. journalist. You see? <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Minister. Uh, we're doing this for the love of Ukraine, and of course, we want the Philippines basically to be the window of Ukraine to the world. Thanks a lot for your great uh, job, because we need this objective information about the situation in Ukraine. It is crucial to understand, to have deep understanding of this situation, uh, and the world must know this and thanks to your activities we have such an opportunity and of course thanks that we have such an opportunity to speak with you uh, my visit here is very important visit uh, it uh, as a follow-up of a historical visit of our president president zelensky uh, it was uh, conducted uh, on a very short uh, notice and we are thankful for uh, for, for your country for your president, uh, that um, uh, president had a, an opportunity to meet with your president. They had very fruitful conversation, and it seems to me, after and I'm confident in this, <laughs> after this visit, we do really have now new reality and new reality in, in the dynamics of our bilateral contacts. Uh, so um, I came here with a mission uh, to conduct uh, special consultations with a. Uh, counterparts with relevant authorities to strengthen our ties, to strengthen our relations, because we are the country which could contribute in your food security, and we are ready to do. And I'm confident that we could establish really beneficial mutual cooperation, stronger together, yeah. if briefly, and we are ready to do this. We got all necessary instructions for our, for, from our president, but the main goal of the visit of our president, of course, strengthen of our relations, cooperation, bilateral cooperation, and also <clears throat> the participation uh, of your country in the future peace global summit. It is of the crucial importance. We do really count on the highest level of your participation. President personally invited your president, so we do really believe that it will become a reality. Yeah, you know, um Many were surprised about the sh short notice visit of uh, President Zelensky, and uh, I'm impressed personally. How did you manage that, Your Excellency? You see, in Ukraine we have another speed. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I am not <laughs> modest, but that's true. Yeah. I was with the President Zelensky from the first minute of uh, Russia aggression, uh, also in a bunker underground. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I know very well this speed, this mood. Uh, this uh, his leadership yeah uh, so uh, and he came here also because of the importance of your country mm. of your of the importance of your voice of the importance of your support you are a very important country in the region uh, your your decision your positive decision your positive attitude attitude is also encouraging for other countries of the ASEAN region so that's why <clears throat> uh, such a decision was taken uh, to visit and to meet personally with your president to give additional arguments. But it seems to me that we are like-minded countries. Yes, definitely. Uh, we share the same values. We share the same challenges. 
And as like-minded uh, country, I think we have really in, in common ground for strengthening of our mutually beneficial cooperation. Yes. How was it, the, the discussion of President Zelensky and President Margaret? Of course, uh, we're all excited about what happened behind the scene, and uh, can you give us a brief about it? Uh, I was not present at the discussion, <coughs> uh, but uh, as far as I understood, it was really very productive, very positive, one, very warm, and with uh, many developments. It opened many opportunities to strengthen our relations once again. Uh, and um, uh, what is important, it seems to me, they uh, had a real, uh, you see, chemia in their communications and, uh, and uh, reached very, uh, very important uh, agreements. Between uh, two years and four months uh, uh, since Russia illegally took uh, Ukraine, uh, can you give us a background? What's now the progress uh, in, in Ukraine? Thanks a lot for this uh, question. Uh, so uh, uh, we continue to resist. And just uh, for you to understand, on the, after the 24th of February, Ukraine managed to liberate 50% of our territories, uh -huh. which were occupied by Russians. 50%. At this stage, about 20% uh, of our territories under Russia occupation. Russia continues to commit crimes, to commit atrocities. They are raping our women, they are raping our children. So, um, and we are collecting all necessary uh, evidences to bring them to accountability. Uh, we managed to establish in the Black Sea Grain Corridor. That is very important to understand. Uh, under, under the constant threat uh, of missile attacks, and the, under the constant threat <coughs> for the vessels, uh, we managed to do this with the help of our partners. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we, here we are especially thankful to Turkey and to the United uh, Nations. And now it is functioning. What does it mean in practice? That we could export our uh, products, including uh, agricultural uh, products, uh, worldwide. Also, just also for you to understand the scale of uh, challenge, today frontline acting, frontline in Ukraine, is about 1,100 kilometers. With daily <coughs> fightings, with daily fights, the Russians uh, started their offensive we managed to stabilize the situation. We started to build defensive lines. We started to prepare and to equip additional reserves. That's why we need more solidarity to stop the aggressor. They, they, they can't have any successes in Ukraine because in another case, another tyrannies in another part of the world will be encouraged to do the same. So this unity is uh, crucial for us. And also we are united with you. Yeah. With, uh, our, we are country, countries of champions, especially box champions. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, that, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Klitschko, Usyk on yeah. our side, you have champions. So uh, we are also united by this. Exactly, exactly. With our, uh, our love to, to the sport, especially to box. Yeah. Um, of course, there's <clears throat> for excuse me for the for those who don't really understand uh, the nuances and dynamics of uh, global diplomacy. Um, they they said that the visit of uh, President Zelensky here in the Philippines has no use. Uh, can you educate them why this is very important? Because this meeting, this visit, is a true practical sign of solidarity and support. This meeting was ahead of the Peace Global Summit, which will be conducted in Switzerland uh, on the 15th and 16th of June. It is really very important, and at this stage, more than 104 countries already confirmed. It means that global society, world behind Ukraine, that world supports this approach, respect to the international law to the principles of the UN Charter, respect of the territorial sovereignty 
territorial integrity and sovereignty. That is important to show this, not to be a side. It, you, you could think that, oh, this war is so far, 8,000 kilometers. No, this war touched everybody. Uh, uh, as in domestically in Ukraine, each family, and also uh, each country in the world. Because by uh, Russian aggression also produce many crises, food crisis, energy crisis, nuclear crisis, and they blackmail in, blackmail in the world with the possibility of using nuclear weaponry, being a member of Security Council. It is not acceptable. Yeah, and not, not many people do not understand that uh, what Russia did is a betrayal of the Budapest Memorandum. Uh, conducting their aggression, they violated more than 600 international agreements, both bilateral and uh, multilateral. Uh, Mr. Minister, um, I went to Czech Republic, I went to Poland, and I met a lot of displaced Ukrainians. How are they now, and uh, what, what support is uh, the Ukraine government doing for them? Now is a reality because of the war against Ukraine, um, 7.5 million of Ukrainians are abroad, mainly women and children. And uh, at this stage, uh, also we are thinking how to engage Ukrainian men who are abroad to serve and to execute uh, their obligation to uh, defend their country. Yeah. Uh, we managed during the war, uh, the war to establish special digital system to provide our citizens abroad all necessary services. We managed to do this. Mm -hmm. and now they could uh, get 14 types of uh, uh, official documents mm -hmm. with the help of this digital service, DIA. Service yeah. DIA starting from ID card, uh, driver license, and all other types. And we are developing our idea. It doesn't matter you are abroad or you are in the country, but you could get all the documents, 100% of the state documents uh, with the help of this uh, digital system. We are in contact uh, with our friends, with our allies to, uh, to provide for, for, for our citizens abroad all necessary support but we are waiting for them in Ukraine. We need them because each war ends. And uh, we already started reconstruction of Ukraine. It will be a really huge project. And we also count on the support and uh, participation uh, of Philippines, of your country uh, in this reconstruction uh, process. It will be beneficial. Uh, and uh, we approached uh, um, your side with our vision and with our uh, proposals with regard to this. And also, um, it is important to understand that Ukraine is a top producer of many agricultural products. Top producer, I mean top, uh, top world producer, mm -hmm. wheat, flour, um, sunflower okay. oil, honey, uh, grain, everything, uh, probably all, all the line of agricultural products, they are of very good um, quality, uh, meat, by the way, uh, and so we are ready to cooperate with uh, your country and to increase, uh, to increase these uh, economical uh, ties, and also we are interested in some products which you are producing, That's and to, to, to benefit from this, to enjoy them. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, we are on a stage of uh, real intensification of our bilateral re relation and what is important, really beneficial for both sides. You need us, we need you, stronger together. So. That's, that's wonderful. Um, it, it, it's really well explained and I hope that our viewers out there would realize that uh, in fact, that was part of my talk last year at uh, whatever Russia is doing right now uh, against Ukraine is the similar template that China is doing against Philippines. And uh, this is very important for many people to understand. 
Mr. Minister, uh, I know Russia has a lot of uh, human rights violations worldwide, and especially in, during the uh, in uh, Ukraine. Uh, what are the initiatives that the Ukraine is doing to protect uh, those those victims? Uh, are there cases being uh, filed right now? We started to collect immediately evidences uh, because uh, we have very famous, uh, not even examples, but cases, Bucha, Irping, when we liberated them, thousands and thousands of facts of the Russian soldiers' crimes. Unbelievable. For example, 90% of the soldiers, of Ukrainian soldiers, uh, who are returned back from the uh, who are returned back uh, were prisoners. They were under torches. They were under torches. Uh, so we started to collect uh, all these evidences. We properly informed uh, international um, uh, relevant bodies, United Nations and all other uh, international um, bodies, and also we initiated the creation of special tribunal to bring Russia to accountability and also uh, we are in a close contact with the international criminal court with regard of this by the way Russians uh, started to use against our soldiers uh, chemi chemical weaponry weaponry which includes chemical substances uh, so uh, they uh, continue to commit uh, their crimes on our territory, and the world must know about this. Yeah. Um, you, you said that uh, almost 50% have been uh, regained by Ukraine. That, that's wonderful. Uh, I, I'm just curious, of course, uh, does the Atacans and other um, missiles provided by uh, the Ukraine allies help into this? Of course. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this success, this successes uh, we achieved achieve also because of the strong support of our allies, military assistance support. And by the way, we also managed, despite the war, to start to produce many types of very sophisticated equipment in Ukraine. We managed to do this. Probably we are, we are one of the best in the world with regard of unmanned technologies. I mean drones, also underwater drones. Mm -hmm. uh, we destroyed probably more than 30% of Russian fleet in the Black Sea, mm -hmm. thanks to these uh, technologies and skills and heroism of our uh, soldiers. Uh, so we are developing our military defense industry uh, and uh, we, we have true support from our allies, United States, Germany, Great Britain, Nordic countries, Poland. Uh, so we are in close contact with them uh, to achieve our main goal, just sustainable peace for Ukraine. Yeah, so, speaking of those allies that you have, how should how is Ukraine's relationship with the neighboring countries in, in, in Europe? Uh, our policy uh, to strengthen and develop uh, relations with all uh, neighboring countries, it is our priority and uh, briefly it's a policy, zero problems with our uh, neighboring countries. As you are aware, we are on our way to become a full-scale uh, member of European Union. Uh, we got the status, uh, the candidate status uh, in summer 2022. It also uh, uh, witnesses the speed uh, uh, of our efforts uh, to achieve our strategic goals and uh, uh, our membership in European Union and we will become uh, and in NATO and we also will become is our strategic uh, goals. It is choice of our people and we are working hard to achieve this. Yeah, this is also interesting. It, it also dawned on me a while ago, um, like uh, 
President Joe Biden apologized for the delay of the approval because uh, still uh, the, the support package that we have. Uh, when this is approved, uh, how it would affect the Ukraine's uh, capacity uh, in terms of uh, fighting war and of course rebuilding? Uh, well, what can you say about it? Of course it will strengthen us. Of course it will change reality. It could allow us uh, to think about our counteroffensive measures um, and we, we are also frank with our uh, allies because of some uh, delay of their support we had uh, to leave a uh, small, uh, small um, uh, city on Ukrainian east, Avdiivka, yeah. because of this delay. Now uh, having these uh, commitments, having these uh, confirmations uh, we we will uh, conduct uh, all necessary measures to defend our country and uh, to conduct all necessary counteroffensive measures. Mm -hmm. the, the the global the global peace summit is really becoming the talk of the world. Uh, uh, what is the development right now? How many are participating, uh, especially in the the global south? You're right. It is an, an, a global event and we are thankful for our partners for supporting uh, this idea because uh, it is based on the Zelensky Peace Formula, yeah. 10 points formula with a concrete steps, sequence of steps, how to achieve once again sustainable, just, last peace for Ukraine, lasting peace for Ukraine. So um, it is important to get as much countries as possible. I would like to remind that 143 countries voted to support United Nations resolution with condemning Russia aggression. 82 countries uh, participated at the level of national security advisors in Davos. So uh, our ambitions, of course, to get uh, as much as possible the countries, and especially from uh, Global South, at this stage we have confirmation from 104 countries wow. uh, of their participation, so it is a really global yeah. event. Uh, it is the event of like-minded countries. Yeah. And, and we do really hope that it will be a serious step forward uh, to make this uh, just peace uh, closer for, for, for Ukraine. Yeah. And we do really count mm. on your support mm. uh, and the participation of your president yeah. in this event. You know, it's, it's good to... I, I wrote a column about it, uh, why Philippines should participate in the Global Peace. And uh, a few hours later, uh, the Philippines accepted the Global Peace uh, Summit, uh, we which really a good move personally. Okay, um, I spoke with the Turkish ambassador, and I think Turkey is also joining uh, the Global Peace Summit. Turkish yeah, 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 sure. Turkey confirmed. Yeah. So that this is wonderful development, and uh, with few more days to the Global Peace Summit, do you still expect more uh, participation from other countries? Yes, of course, and we continue our efforts to engage more and more. Uh, we are providing with additional argument why it is important, mm -hmm. uh, also for them why it is interest, because uh, this war against Ukraine is not only about Ukraine, yeah, exactly. it's about regional security, it's about global security. Uh, and it's about restoration of world order based on international law. Uh, so that's why uh, expression of support to these basic principles of international law, of the world order based on United Nations Charter, it is crucial. And uh, we see this understanding. Today in Manila, I also had a meeting uh, with a group of ambassadors from different geographies uh, also to, to exchange views with them, how we could uh, engage uh, and how, how we could inspire 
more participants uh, for, for, from, 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 the, from the region and we are more uh, still working on this. No, it, it, it is wonderful because the, the, the global uh, community is watching what's happening in uh, Ukraine and uh, of course we know you're also a victim of uh, fake news uh, from the Russia side and I am, I'm, this is my last question, uh, Your Excellency. Um, when I was in Ukraine, they were selling the China formula of uh, China peace formula. Uh, and it's good to know that uh, nobody you know, took the bait and it's the Zelensky formula because there's no better way to deal with this kind of crisis uh, than someone who's inside the arena. That's not a crisis, it's a true war against Ukraine and Russia aggression. And yes, the only way to achieve peace is a Ukrainian peace formula, Zelensky peace formula. War is on our territory and we know better how to achieve this peace. Uh, we are really interested in the participation of China in this peace global summit. They could really contribute in achieving this peace, being uh, a member of Security Council, uh, having the influence uh, on uh, Russia, and so uh, we still do really count on their uh, participation. And also uh, it is important that they reacted on the situation in Ukraine and many, uh, many positions uh, from the principles which were expressed by Chinese, uh, they are corresponding with uh, Zelensky peace formula. Uh, so, uh, but in any case, it's the only way to achieve peace, Ukrainians peace formula. Yeah.